Welcome back to the channel. Um, videos have been slow here lately. The weather has been crappy. Been stuck in the shop doing some uh, projects. I will have a video on some of that, but kind of goes to say whenever I get caught up in the moment, I forget to turn the camera on. But got some uh, corn, hopefully to haul. Some six dollar corn to fund some more projects. So that'll be in some upcoming videos. And uh, but right now we're gonna go feed hay and uh, talk about a rare unicorn I'm trying to find. today uh, like I said previously we've had some pretty crappy weather about an inch and a half it's rained yesterday but as you can see the sun is out so uh, I don't know how, how long it will take it to dry back up probably March uh, but anyways I'm in search of something and uh, I'll tell you what it is. Well, they're out grazing. So we're gonna try to lure them in with this hay down here. Get a good look at them. But uh, if you know me or been keeping up with the channel, I don't drive fancy vehicles. Uh, kind of the same way with my equipment I don't have to have new but I do trick out my tractors and stuff a little bit but every January I have a ritual and that is to go to the uh, Chevrolet and uh, the Ford and Ram dealers every January and I priced trucks well what I price is a three quarter ton four wheel drive four door work truck with the gas engine every year Chevrolet beats, beats everybody's price so I always end up not buying one so here it is, January, and uh, instead of going to looking at new ones, because I can't get a new one, I have been looking at uh, used ones. So I started out on Facebook Marketplace. And I decided that I'm not going to drive 200 miles to look, go look at somebody's truck that they have ragged out that smells like stale beer and uh, cheap cologne. So yesterday, after church, me and the kids, my wife was working, we went and ate up in town. So I spied a few, spied a few, it was raining. I didn't stop and look. So let's go to another pasture and I'll tell you about that. Well, the 
horses have got hay. I ain't got to mess with them. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and back it up. Um, back up the story a little bit to why when I was looking at new trucks, why I was looking for three-quarter ton work trucks. Well, the work truck deal is uh, when you're buying new, you pay for a lot of crap on a truck that you don't need. I don't need heated seats, not for my personal use. And I was gonna keep the old Dodge out or use it for my everyday driver and just kind of put a new truck back uh, in a shed somewhere. And get it out on Sundays and Saturday nights and stuff like that. So, let's get back to the truck that I saw in town yesterday. I've changed my thinking on things. I don't need, necessarily need a three quarter ton and uh, not necessarily four wheel drive. And maybe getting a few options that my old Dodge doesn't have like a heater. It's got one heck of an air conditioner in it, but I've had that truck 14 years, it's never had a good heater on it. So that's what I was kind of spied was a half ton four wheel drive truck. Ford, four door. Make a long story short, more than I wanted to pay for, pay for it. Because I did go today to town and I hit every reputable used car lot and uh, what I found was trucks that was a year or two old with 30, 40,000 miles on them and uh, they wanted the price of a new one. So we're going to look at these cows and I'll tell you what my next option is when I get into the next pasture. We'll go ahead and do a quick cattle tour and we may be witnessing something that uh, <laughs> I don't know if he's just playing with her or that was a female cow let's sit here and watch this for a second well I don't think he's gonna do anything. I think maybe she, they're just playing around with her. Oh, definitely. Well, he's found him another and he's a sniffing. Well, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get of that last clip there how much I'm going to use of it so let's get another roll on the back and uh, get them unraveled and I'll tell you the rest of the story but uh, getting back to my truck story um, I've settled on calling a reputable dealer that I can trust and I've got him looking for me a work truck four door four wheel drive um, 150,000 or less miles 15,000 might go 18,000 for the right truck so that's where I have settled at and I'm gonna put these two loads out and talk to you about something on the way back to shop and come back, try to kill some buzzards. Well, we got the cows fed. Uh, I know the cattle, cattle feeding videos kind of get old and I ain't been posting a whole lot, but I try to make them interesting. So I got, 
some work I'm gonna do on my spur. Um, like I said, that's a ongoing video that I've been working on, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give somebody a shout out and uh, tell you another another little story. Maybe it's maybe it's gonna be short. I had a uh, girl try to wanting to send me a message on Instagram and. Usually I I don't mess with them because it's some kind of scam. But her last name was Thomas, so I did open it up, and uh, she said she was contacting me for her dad. He didn't have social media. Her dad is David Thomas, and uh, I've never met him, but he's my third cousin. And uh, his dad Wendell and my dad was uh, first cousins, and Wendell grew up in Baltimore. Maryland, so uh, they watch the channel. Hello, uh, get a chance to come to Tennessee. So we're gonna go ahead and just close this out, and uh, thank you for watching. Leave me a comment, and uh, I, I enjoy them. So we'll catch you doing something, hauling grain or or something here in another video pretty soon. Maybe another cattle feeding video. All right, we'll see you.